Have you ever just wished Messi and Ronaldo would just get it over and done with and 1v1 already? Well, so have I, and I decided to take to FC24 to do it for me. Well, 1v1 with their clubs in different challenges, not actually fight each other. For now. Let me show you how it's gonna work. Yes, that is right, lads. It is time for the last dance for the um, 80th time. So as future Chemico has hopefully already explained in the intro, I will be putting into Miami and Al Nasser against each other in a series of challenges, and whoever gets the most points in these challenges and the most wins will win overall and be the better club and the better legend. Right, and just to clear this out of the way, I don't want to hear anyone saying it's like rigs because I'm controlling into Miami so they've got an advantage. If anything, this is a disadvantage for into Miami. If you've watched my videos before, you will know that they probably do not want me in charge here. Amen. Whoever places higher in the Premier League gets a point. Whoever places higher in the FA Cup, Carabao Cup, they get a point. And then overall, whoever wins all of those gets like the main round winning point. A few moments later. I just remembered I normally end up getting sacked in these sims. But um, for the first time ever, it seems like my <laughs> tactics in this game are actually working. Right, I was going to stop here and play this game, assuming I'd need to save my job. But we're fine. I'm going to play it anyway. This is just um, for, for the bants, I guess. Just to help me out a little bit, because we need to place higher than them if we want Miami to win. Which I'm not saying I do. This is not scripted in any way. All balance, no scripting. Let's show Cristiano we're the better retirement home. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, what a save! Wait, 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 wait! Okay, it was Ronaldo. I'm gonna have to make a, a public apology statement at this rate. Lads, we need to do better. Taylor. Suarez. Suarez! Luis Suarez! That is not his face. That is not Bruce's face. Somebody kidnapped Suarez and took his place. You know what? As long as we win the game, it doesn't matter, mate. Oh, I thought he was gonna blow for a penalty there. Deutsch is not impressed. Oh, Taylor. My goat. Messi. Oh, what a save. As I've been through the desert on a horse with no name, it felt good to be out of the rain. What? This is just Ronaldo v Suarez. My idol, Pessi, is ghosting. Oh my god, no way, lads. Minus one undefined has moved to Man City. Okay, what the hell? That What? I feel like my team makes a mockery of me. I've just broken Ronaldo's legs. Come on, Suarez! You've been saving us! Do it again! Oh, what a finish! That is beautiful, Suarez! Jesus, how do you even get that sort of speed on Travella? Whoa, 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 oh my god. Thank god I paid the refs there to blow that whistle and we would have been done for- I mean, wait, no! <laughs> and that's the end of the game, it's a 3-3 draw between Al Nasser and Inter Miami. It was Suarez versus Ronaldo that whole game, to be honest. Jesus Christ, possession was literally 50-50. Let's not look at the shots, or the pass accuracy. Right, let's just stop looking at the stats. Right, let's just keep simming and if I'm about to lose me job, then I guess I'll come back and try and save it. You remember how it was going pretty, like, it was going alright before? Yeah, it's the end of the season now, it's it's not it's not going alright anymore. If we have a look at the table, yep, we, we are 18. There's one game left to play, it's against Chelsea. I feel like in these sims, in these careers, I always end up playing Chelsea, and they always destroy me for no reason. Let me play this game against Chelsea, to see if I can save us at least from the relegation. Real cheese Obama. I've been sacked. Well, uh, let's have a look. Ninth, eighth, seventh. Oh my God, how high have how high have Al Nasser got? Sixth. Oh my God, they got European football. And I mean, Man City won the Premier League, but nobody cares. Ronaldo almost won the Golden Boot with Al Nasser. He was like five goals off. Christ, maybe I'm on the wrong team, lads. Can I can I switch teams? Is that allowed? Okay, wait. We've got to check the other competitions now to see who wins this point overall. The FA Cup. Al Nasser lost in round five to Arsenal. So yeah, uh, Inter Miami were definitely lower than that. And then the Carabao. Al Cup, Al Nasser lost 3-0 to Chelsea, because it's always Chelsea, isn't it, EA? So Al Nasser get literally all of the points for round one. Alright, well, Sean Dyche is not impressed, but round one and point one goes to Al Nasser. Let's see if Inter Miami can redeem themselves in the second round. Do not even 
No, 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 no. All right, round two is a one-on-one -on -one match against each other from Inter Miami and Al Nasser. But this time, I'm not involved either way on each team. So none of my stupid tactics involve both teams, just the AI going against each other. So I get to actually watch and enjoy my life instead of suffering playing the game. I'm going to be honest, lads. I, um, I don't know the names of most of the players on these teams because they're both irrelevant as hell. So I'm just going to have to figure it out. Right, I know Suarez is here. Suarez! Suarez opens the scoring already for Inter Miami, giving them early hope to bring back the point and keep themselves in this competition. Sting is weird as hell AI generated face in the camera. Through to Gressel. Gressel, can he do something with this move? Lionel Messi comes in back to Gressel. Gressel shoots in. Gressel scores. Already it's 2 nils into Miami who look like they could run away with this. Look at that lovely link up play between the GOAT and also Lionel Messi. Octavio's got it again through to Taliska. There's people open, but the tackle is made, and Gressel has the ball straight to Luis Suarez. Can he find somebody? He gives it back to Sergio Busquets. Back to Suarez. Messi's running through. Lionel Messi has the ball alone. One on one with the keeper. He shoots and hits the post. Gressel with the rebound, and he finally puts it into the back of the net to make it 3 0 already. Into Miami have the ball again. They're dominating the possession in this game. They try and swiftly bring it up the pitch all the time, and it's working beautifully for them. Alba crosses it in for Gressel, who hits it on the volley first time, and it was a brilliant save by the keeper. Busquets to Suarez. Suarez to Busquets. Gomez, Busquets, Suarez. He shoots, it's just over the bar, almost top bins. Inter Miami are honestly playing beautifully here. They don't think that they're prime Barcelona, they actually might be prime Barcelona. Like, literally, they've got half of their players. Taliska's on the break already, early on in the second half. It's early in the second half, Taliska shoots, he scores, it's 3-1! It is not over yet for Al Nasser, who can definitely still come back. A few moments later. Gedlin, they're playing beautiful Tiki Taka. Through to Suarez. Suarez shoots and it's straight into the top of the net. 4-1 into Miami. Suarez seals it up and makes it clear that they're not going to let go of this lead. And that's a could potentially hit on a counter-attack. Taliska's got it. He's dribbling. He's giving it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo shoots, but it's a wonderful save from Calendar. Tejas is on the end. Can he cross it in? He's decided to keep it. There's people open. Ronaldo shoots and another beautiful save. This game has been full of lovely saves. But that is the end of the game. Into Miami win the second round, take the second point, and keep themselves in this competition. It all comes down to the final round, the penalty shootout. Whoever wins that will win the competition overall. All right, lads, after some secret YouTuber magic, we have finally got here for the final round, the penalty shootout. Whoever wins this will win the whole video overall. It literally all comes down to this. All right, let's go. Pernaldo steps up first, he shoots, and he slots it into the bottom left corner. Calendar could not save that. Next up is Luis Suarez, who hits it into the right. Alex Tejas is up next. Powerfully smashed into the top left. There is no saving that one. Capagna up next. He tries to put it in the middle, but the keeper saw it coming. Taliska into the right. It's not looking great for Inter Miami. Pramashi. And he slots into the right. I'm not sure where Lionel Messi is. Sadio Mane. And it's saved by Calendar to even it up. Next up is Gressel. And he smashes it into the left side. Never in doubt with Gressel. Otavio is in now. And beautifully finessed into the right hand corner. Now if Sergio Busquets does not score this penalty, then it's all over and Al Nasser will win. And Busquets places it onto the right hand side to keep them in. I'm not sure where Pessi is. Brozovic into the bottom right. It's beautiful. Up steps Jorzy Alba. Again, he needs to score this or it is all over for Inter Miami. He's looking right and he shoots down the middle and it's saved. It was predicted by Al Akidi and it's all over. Al Nasser take the final point and they win the video. I'm pretty sure Messi didn't even take a penalty in the shootout. What the hell? But there it is, according to FC24, Al Nasser and Cristiano Ronaldo is the superior team and GOAT. Let me know what you think down in the comments if you agree with this or not, because we all know how unrealistic this game is. This is all up for debate, lads. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, because it helps me out a lot. And give me video ideas in the comments, lads, please. I'm on my downfall here. Somebody please help me.